Meet Danielle. She's always been known as the fat girl. She eats so much. But now she's tired of what she sees. I'm gonna try to lose 60 pounds. 60 pounds. We all know that you're not the most active person. That's why Danielle wants to be made into a brand new girl, just in time for homecoming weekend. Like, You're gonna finish by completing a 5K run race. Will she ever be able to finish a 5K race? Much less handle this drill, Sergeant. You're not a quitter, Danielle! And when she's sent off to fat camp. Oh, and there's like pretty fat girls. Will she find the inspiration she's looking for? Very hungry. Okay. What? what? No sitting down! Me? You have a good body and I don't know why you're oh, here. That's... I'm not leaving my cabin tonight. Will the love of her life be there when she needs him the most? I want a boyfriend who's gonna motivate me, and if you can't, then you have to go home. Will she be able to push through the struggles that come with losing weight? I gained a pound. Frustrated that she's putting all these eggs in the basket of the scale. But will she ever feel comfortable in her own skin? It doesn't fit because I'm fat. And will the brand new Danielle ever be able to shine through? Perfect, she's oh great. You look good. Like Find out now on Maid. Oh my God. I just want to wrestle. I want to be a boxer. A beauty pageant queen. I want to be the first. I want to be the best. I'm going to do whatever it takes. I want to be me. Me. Definitely. Welcome to Reading, Pennsylvania. Middle of nowhere, USA. And this is my high school, Schuylkill Valley. I don't fit into a click here, but I definitely have a label. Everyone knows it but they're just afraid to say it. She's never really been active. She can still you know, walk, but I mean, she can't run. It's like the food's always falling out of her mouth. She's basically a pig. I mean, she's a really nice girl. A really nice girl? Come on, just say it. Danielle's always been bigger. Well, getting closer. That's me, Danielle. And what they want to say is that I'm the fat girl. Pump up the jam, pump it up. I figure if I make a joke about my weight before anyone else does, they won't have the need to make a joke about me. Okay, this belt fits around my thigh. I'm overweight because I chose to be. It isn't anyone's fault that I'm overweight except my own. I wanna watch Real World. I hope Real World's on. Yeah, I admit it. I'm lazy. And now that school's out for summer, well, I pretty much just hibernate in my room. I have a really big buddy list. I have 64 girls on my list and 125 of my guy friends. If I go like three days and I don't go online, I have like online withdrawal. The computer is basically her whole life. She loves the computer. That's my mom. She has different ideas about how I should be spending my time. All that you need is exercise. That's it. Don't act like you like come in my room at like nine in the morning and go, let's go jogging. Don't. She's flat out lazy. Hey, Danielle, you want to go on the trampoline? Do I ever go on the trampoline with you? And that's my brother, Jacob. In his perfect world, I'd be playing right along with him. <laughs> Get off me. But as much as I love my brother, <laughs> hanging out on the computer is somehow much more appealing. And how else would I have met the person most important to me? There he is, Justin. Our friendship was online for like three years, and then we fell in love, I guess. I knew it was really love when he left New York after graduating high school to take a job near me. <laughs> I can be me in front of Justin and not have to worry if he's thinking bad about me or doubting me. I love you. She's just a, an amazing person. Justin is like the one person who, when he sees me, he doesn't think, oh, she's a big girl. He thinks, wow, she's beautiful. But ever since Justin moved down here, I started to realize that all jokes aside, I need to be able to see myself the same way he sees me. I can look in the mirror and see that this is not attractive. I don't like my arms. I hate the way my hips stick out. And this roll right here, it's just extra weight that I left there for too long. It's at 280. The body mass index is 43. Okay. And that puts you in the obese category. Sometimes it's hard to believe my weight has gotten so out of control because I wasn't always this way. This is me when I was little. I was very, very thin. This is me when I was thin at the beach and I thought I was hot. And this is me in like second grade. I guess you could say there was a moment in my life that changed everything. I entitled this my one school family because these are pictures prior to my dad's death. He died December I turned 13. He 
died from a heart attack. I gained a lot of weight after his death. Food was my comfort and sleeping. I didn't care to lose weight. I didn't care to get up. It's like I have this little box in me that is filled with pain. And now, like, I want to care about myself and my health. And I want to fix the broken parts of me. So what I want to be made into isn't that hard to figure out. Ideally, I want to lose 60 pounds. And I know I won't go from fat to skinny. I know I'll go from fat to chubby, but I think it'll give me the boost I need to go all the way. I know it's a lot to ask, but what I want to be made into is a thinner, healthier, happier me. And by the time my homecoming dance comes around, I just want to have that one moment, walking in on Justin's arm, feeling proud to be me. Maybe then, people will finally be able to see me as Danielle, a real person, instead of just the fat girl. I was pretty psyched to tell my friends about my plan. This was a huge step for me, and I needed their support. I have something to tell you guys. I've decided I'm going to try to get help to lose 60 pounds. That is cool. 60 pounds. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of weight. That's a lot of weight. The idea of it is great, but we all know that you're not the most active person. The one time we took a cab five blocks because you didn't feel like walking in the heat. <laughs> no, I didn't. Yeah, you did. What makes you think that you're going to be able to run and do sit-ups and push-ups and, and lift weights every single day? What are you going to do three days into it? You just want to give up. After three days, she's just like, oh, forget this. I want some chips. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's going to be a horrible, horrible two and a half months, but I'm so ready to get off this weight. I want to do it. Julie, I wasn't so sure I'd pass her fitness test. Turn it up. RPM's above 70. This is serious. Focus. Intensity. She's trained Olympic and professional athletes. Steve, Steve. nice to meet you, Danielle. But I have a little present for you. My first workout. She claimed she was going to go easy on me. For three whole minutes, you will be stepping up and down on this step without stopping, no breaks, no water, no nothing. Go. There you go. Keep moving. Get those feet up. Woo! Get it done, girl! You gotta believe to achieve. We're going a little slower here. What's the deal? I'm fat and I'm tired. You're a warrior! Three, two, woo! Okay, now this next little activity is called a wall sit. It's gonna work your gluteus maximus. I'm gonna give you a minute. You think you can make it a minute? We're gonna do it. Ready? One, two, three. There you go, perfect. Okay, great. So what else? Let me start the time. Oh, I did already. No, uh, what do you think the answer is? You gotta get your mind on something else. You gotta really I'm think about your goal. <gasps> what are you doing? What? That's 25 seconds. 25 seconds? What are you doing? Dying. You're not dying yet. Have you ever heard of an up down? No, but I bet you're gonna tell me. <laughs> jump up in the air. You're gonna kick your legs out, bring them back up, and then jump up in the air. Kick those legs out, kick them out, down. Oh my God. Come on, back down. Come on, Danielle. Just tell yourself you can do it. I'm dying. Are you quitting on me? Yes. You're not a quitter, Danielle. You are not a quitter, come on. Seriously, I never worked out this hard in my life. My body just couldn't take it anymore. Danielle, are you okay? Yeah. It was sort of embarrassing because I had to throw up because I worked too hard and I just want to be fit and I don't want to be like this anymore. You ever been up this early to exercise? 
No. No? It's not gonna be easy, Danielle. 60 pounds? We're gonna spend a lot of time together. You and me, we're a team. All right, and I'm gonna help you achieve your goal, and you're gonna finish by completing a 5K run race. Did she just say a 5K race? Isn't that like over three miles? Let's make it happen, Captain, come on. We're going on a little journey. Let's go, come on. We got Danielle up pretty early this Sunday morning, and I think she wasn't ready for it because she is so deconditioned and hasn't done anything. I'm like your little angel. But you're very mean. I'm mean? I get results, Danielle. She hates her body, and she needs some motivation. She needs hope. I am here to get that kid results, and I am focused and motivated to help her do that. Keep your eyes on the prize. Well, I see an object that says my name all over it. An object that says, how do you know that's for you? It looks like a piece of cheesecake, but I just might be hallucinating that at this point. <laughs> Turns out, it was a package for me. You're a girl from running PA who wants to melt her pounds away. You'll run and you'll swim, you'll hang in the gym, so get ready, because you're leaving Monday. Guess where you're going? Camp. Camp for three weeks to the number one weight loss, nutrition, and fitness camp on the East Coast, Camp Shane. <laughs> Aren't you excited? I feel excited and I feel scared because I've never like, been away that long. Can you believe it? I'm leaving tomorrow. Tomorrow. I want to lose 20 pounds at camp. Camp Shane or bust. If I'm going to go to this camp and I'm going to swim and I'm going to run, I want to lose 20 pounds at camp. And I have three weeks to do it. It wasn't until I saw Justin that the reality of leaving set in. I need you to sit down. I leave tomorrow at 10 a.m. I'm excited for Danielle because she's got an opportunity to go to camp, but I'm still sad because she's so far away. I think that once she starts losing the weight, then she'll really realize that, hey, I can really do this. I can do this on my own. The next morning, there wasn't much time for goodbyes. Okay. They become so close and inseparable. So this is gonna be a challenge for her. No tears. No tears, no. That's gonna be a big downfall, not being able to talk to the one person that brings me up, and he brightens my darkest days. I have to learn to be my own support system, and that's gonna be a really, really, really hard challenge. You depress me, get the f out of camp. I can't do it. No sitting down. I'm not leaving my cabin tonight. I hate air. I wanna be made. <laughs>
Ellery. Ellery. I'm Emmy. I'm gonna have to learn all this. Okay, you wanna get weighed in and measured? 13 and a half. Okay. And 20. Step on the scale. No, damn it. Okay. Nice. I've actually gained weight. <laughs> I can't. I hate it. Whoa. I need someone's back. Day one, and already plus three pounds. With the goal of losing 20, Cam Shane's not going to be easy. Ugh. Good morning, girls. It's time to wake up. Thank you. During my first week at Camp Shane, I learned that getting up early wasn't the only rude awakening. Ah! That's a big ass bug. <gasps> I knew this was fat camp, but I wasn't expecting boot camp. Today my feet hurt so bad because I did two periods of Thai bow. All we ask is that y'all give us all of your effort. Y'all just came from Thai bow. I know you're tired. But once you're done, you're gonna feel awesome. Oh, Jumping jack, let me see him. I can't do it. Can't means won't. So if you say can't, that means that you won't try. Man, I thought Julie was an exercise no. Nazi. Bend your knee, bend, bend, bend. No sitting down. Me? Yes, you. Call this Seriously, you think I wanna play soccer after that? And then volleyball? Oops, sorry. Naturally, after all that exercise, oh, shit, I was starving. And I wasn't the only one. The fatties were restless. We're hungry. Here. What, what, we need food, 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 food. But believe me, it was nothing to cheer about. Very nasty chicken, mm. And the food wasn't the only thing that annoyed me. You depress me. Get the f out of camp. Me? Wait, yes. Why? Because you have a good body, and I don't know why you're oh, here. Here, I'm body. pretty skinny, but like at home, everybody is like smaller than me. Yeah, whatever, skinny girl. The people here, even though some of them are nice, I don't feel like this strong, strong connection. Well, where are you going after rest hour? Bed. I'm not leaving my cabin tonight. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna go out. So, you're gonna come you know, you're ditching us. Exactly. So, whatever. You're gonna Julie. Oh, these knives write my man a letter. You suck. <laughs> Free play isn't really that fun. It's just all the girls sitting with the boys flirting and trying to meet their new batch. I already have my guy, so I think I'd be doing better if I was at home. I can't believe how much I miss you. It hasn't even been a full week at camp yet, and I'm going crazy. I really don't know why Danielle doesn't come out. She's in her bunk, writing a letter, thinking about her boyfriend, mourning about fat camp. We're having so much fun, and I really wish you would come out with us. These few days showed me how much of a part of my life you truly are. Every free second I have, I am thinking about you. I hate it here. I hate it here. After seven hellish days of working my butt off, it was the moment of truth. Five pounds, awesome. What? Only five pounds? I don't think there's more. I was hoping Coach Julia would make me feel better about things. I lost five pounds. I don't know how you feel about that. I'm not happy. You gotta get serious about this. I mean, we don't have much time, Danielle. Okay. We gotta just, you know, step it up a little. Okay. Step it up? That wasn't exactly what I wanted to hear. Maybe at least one of the campers would be able to understand my frustration. As my coach, she should be like, five pounds is really good. It's your first week of working out. I needed to hear that. She's trying to make you like work even harder the next week. Before I came to camp, I said, you know, I really want to lose 20 pounds here. Like, I don't want to live in false hopes, like putting myself up for failure. So I changed my goal to 15 pounds. You have to keep your goal. I'd be like ecstatic with 20, but I would be happy with 10. Now I'm going in between. You have to shoot for 20. You know, I don't know. I just... I'm not telling you to suck it up, but just try and make the best of it. Julie really, really wants you to reach 20, you know? But you're doing this for you, not for her. I guess she had a point. At the end of the day, I'm only hurting myself if I don't give this everything I've got. <laughs> Bye. So the next day, I woke up determined. I was gonna change my attitude and work hard and... Assignments from Julie? Hmm. So this is what she meant by stepping it up. Well, you know what? 
I'm just gonna make the best of it. Yeah. Okay, my assignment is I have to do 10 laps around here. Not running, I can walk or jog or run in 30 minutes. All right, do you wanna well, do it with me? Sure. Yeah. I'm getting a little chub bro. You can do it. Third left. Okay. One minute left, one minute left. Just jog, jog with me. That's it. Thank First you. challenge, you did it. I did it. It's only because these two girls helped me. Without them, I wouldn't have done it, Justin. I would have gave up. Julie's little extra credit assignments kept popping up everywhere. Hi, we got something for you. But the girls were there to keep me going. 15 seconds. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Keep going, keep going, keep going. You did it. Thank you, you did it. In the end, I did all of Julie's assignments. Let's see. Without you, like, I would not do it. And I got even more out of it than I ever expected. Everyone told me, you're going to make such lifelong friends at camp. And then I met you guys, and I was like, they're going to be my friends forever. <laughs> Camp seemed like forever at first, but three weeks went by so fast. Now the only thing left was my final weigh in. How much did I lose in the past week? Four pounds. And all together? 14 pounds. <laughs> 14 pounds all together. Oh, well, 14 wasn't 20, but I realized that at camp, I gained so much more than I lost. Tomorrow. That is, until I talked to Justin later that night. Are you just grumpy because you're tired? Or do you just hate me? Do you hate me? When I went to camp, I told him to go to New York and visit his friends and family. And now he doesn't know if he wants to come back to Pennsylvania. So I don't know if he'll be there when I get home from camp. I don't know what's going to happen in the future. Do you want to be with another girl? Bye. I lost 15 pounds, can you tell? Just because the scale hasn't changed doesn't mean you don't feel better and look better, right? I want to be me. <laughs>
I was nervous for the first day of school. I'm gonna wear this, but I've worn 832 times this far because it makes me look thin. 833. I'd worked hard this summer, and I hoped people would notice a difference. I went to fat camp. I know. <laughs> Can you tell I lost weight? What? I went to fat camp, I lost 15 pounds. Really? That's cool. I guess I was gonna have to spell it out for everyone. Did you lose any weight? 15 pounds. I'm expecting people to be more like, wow. I can see a change, but I guess I like overthought it because it is only 15 pounds. I know someone who would have noticed. I just wish he wasn't so far away. Are you going out? Do you wanna be with another girl? Bye. Julie surprised me with a sushi dinner. This looks good, yeah. And it couldn't have been better timing. I just needed some perspective on this Justin situation. So it's gonna be hard to do it without him here. Because I don't have a dad and I don't bond with my mom like that. He's the only person that like cared about me for a really long time. It's okay to feel what you're feeling. It's okay to miss him. You gotta talk about it. It's gonna get better, trust me. It's just gonna take a while and it's a process. You're gonna go through extreme change, mental and physical change. And you don't have your support system right now. You're gonna really have to start trusting yourself. Over the next week, I took Julie's advice and focused on myself. I hit the gym. Ready to do a little strength training? Down, you got to all the way to the top. There's no I way. Can't. can't lives on Wolf Street. No. Learned a thing or two about nutrition. Say bye to high fructose corn syrup. Bad, bad, bad. Yum. <laughs> and started my conditioning for the 5K. How many times around is a mile? Four. How many miles are we gonna do? One. At the end of the week, I was anxious to see the results. Shoes off. Two seventy. I gained a pound. I can't expect to lose four pounds every week. Yeah, I want to. Don't be frustrated. That's annoying. Just because the scale hasn't changed doesn't mean you don't feel better and look better, right? How, how much better do you feel? Not better anymore. I gained a pound. You're, you exercise more this week than you have your entire life. Wow, I worked so hard this week. What's to say if I work the same amount next week, I'll lose anything. Frustrated that she's putting all these eggs in the basket of the scale because it's not a true litmus test of how you feel about yourself. The next day at school, I couldn't concentrate. All I could think about was giving up. It's just that nothing seemed to be going right. Where's Danielle? How you doing? Is this cafeteria? How many days in a row? She's in there? Yeah. Great. Do you know Danielle Zarnacki? What? She's over there. Danielle. I bet you didn't think you were going to get another maid coach, did you? <laughs> That's Maisha, a plus size model from New York City. Coach really figured she'd be able to give me the boost of confidence I needed. I have come to do a little more of the inside work with you. You've got Julie to help you with the outside. I'm here to help you with the inside. I'm gonna put your confidence to the test. So, you wanna do a little runway walking with me? <laughs> How is embarrassing me in front of my school gonna help my inside? Okay, I'll go first, all right. wasn't done with me yet. Here's a red hoodie. Okay, that's two hoodies. Hoodie. More hoodies. Do you guys think that's a little excessive? My wardrobe is jeans, flip-flops, t-shirt, hoodie. Every day. We, we can take it further. I don't see any reason that you should have to feel like you have to cover up. No matter what your goals are, you're beautiful right now. Mm -hmm. And you need to tap into that. I'm thinking we need to do a little shopping. What do you think? I mean, I do wear boy clothes, I'm still a girl. I like exactly. to shop. Exactly, <laughs> you're still a girl. 
So off we went to the shopping capital of the world, New York City. This is trending plus size wear. This is gonna have you thinking a little bit outside the box. Uh-uh. No? What, what's wrong with that? Like, um, insane asylum wear. I'm looking around the store. Ew. And it's nothing I would wear. I'll look like a Starburst. No, Skittle. She's being a little difficult. You are going to pick out something that is not a pant today. And you are going to go home with it. <sighs> nothing above the knees. When you ask for help to change, you got to be willing to kind of accept it and open your mind a bit. I don't know what's going to happen when we get in that dressing room. A little overwhelmed? It's not happening. You've already come a really long way. Oh, my God! You're murdered, girl! Perfect! Perfect. So She's good. great! I want to be me. I want to be made. So far, my goal of losing 60 pounds wasn't exactly going as planned. Gain the pounds. My new coach, Maisha, tried to lift my spirits with a shopping trip to New York. Nothing above the knees. But with homecoming only three weeks away, how could I find the confidence to face my friends if I couldn't even find clothes that I liked? So you head back there. I will join you in a moment. A little overwhelmed? Mm-hmm. Try this outfit on for me, okay? Just to start. It's not happening. Why? Because it doesn't fit. I'm fat. Oh, please. We're gonna have to find some new language, my dear. The fact is, you've already come a really long way. So we want to celebrate this body that you're already creating, okay? I knew my issue wasn't going to back down, so I figured I might as well try some stuff on. I don't like the pants. But I like the shirt. She's pretty open-minded right now, so I'm thinking we might be onto something. I'm just gonna go with the flow. I like it. Plain and simple, I like it. I like it. And I actually got things that are girly and still my style, so I'm really excited, actually. We need a smaller size. I love that. Ladies and gentlemen. I wasn't expecting to like anything. The princess is here. I saw it on, I was like, oh my god, it looks so good. We've gone from like hoodies to J-Lo <laughs> overnight. You came so far today and you tried so many things that you normally would not. I want you to have the courage to try them at school. Do me that favor, just try, okay? Mm, thank you for a great day. So I followed through with my promise. But I have to admit, wearing a skirt to school just made me feel more self-conscious than ever. Oh my god! You're wearing a skirt! skirt. And it doesn't cover you like great. You look good. Hey. Can we get that number real quick? I didn't even know it was you from behind when I saw you walking. I'm serious, I was impressed. When people started complimenting me, it just felt good, so I got excited to be dressed this way. You look beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> and like, sort of flaunted it a little bit. <laughs> By the end of the day, it felt good to be in this outfit, even though it's a little uncomfortable. With the 5K looming, I decided to invite Maisha to the gym. <laughs> this is the track. Finally, someone else to feel my pain. Jog, one lap, and it has to be under 120. Bye-bye. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Never really pushed Danielle running before, and she's got the race coming up, so we're gonna see what they can pull off. Finish, finish, please. I hate the track. 
you do it in one minute, you can be done. For this whole track thing? Yeah. <laughs> Go, girl! We're sweating together. We have a bond. We do have a bond. <laughs> Sweat is thicker than blood. <laughs> it stinks, too. She's moving! Look at that! 40 seconds! Hi, Warren. Okay, time to leave. No, 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 no. I said we're done with the track. <laughs> Don't you feel like a totally different person? No. I'm dying. Sometimes you have to do what you don't want to get what you do want. Hang in there with me. Ten. Five. And you're done. I can't finish the mile. It's okay, we can walk it off. Oh, oh, check it. He's going. Oh, all right. I'm shocked. I can't believe the change in her attitude. Yeah. Go on. I mean, you can even tell in her body language, she's getting more confident and she feels better. We're going to do it again on Tuesday, OK? Be just as fun. Coach Julie finally gave me a day off, so Maisha invited me back to New York to check her out in action. That's beautiful. Oh, my lord, she looks so adorable. But of course, it wasn't all observation. So, um, sorry. Uh -huh. you can do this? No. Of course. No. We help you. No. <laughs> yeah. That's some tips, Maisha. Just try to ignore everybody except for the photographer. And just know you're gorgeous. Stay there. Oh, we got it. Perfect. So She's great. It. Beautiful. Stay. She's totally natural. I can see her confidence growing with every click. Let's take another roll. I can't, I can't. Oh, no. <laughs> when Maria was snapping shots at me, I was thinking, God, I want to do this forever. <laughs> like, I think that's fantastic. I love my show. She inspires me, like, to be big and beautiful. Let's go. There was only one week left until the big race, and I knew I had to push myself harder than ever before. This 5K is going to be a hard task for Danielle to complete. In the beginning, she couldn't jog a lap around the track, so 3.2 miles is a lot to ask of her. Oh, my ankle's going to fall off. Come on, you can do this. This is the hardest thing she's going to probably go through in her life. Danielle, you are kicking ass. Little Ray never hurt anybody. Push it. 14.55 for a mile. It's the best she's ever done. I'm gonna make it. Come on. <laughs> really got your body in motion, and I'm really proud of you. Thank you. I'm proud of you too for sticking by me. Thank you. Oh. I just want to be able to complete the race. I had made so many good changes for myself, but there was one more thing I had to resolve. I had to go talk to Justin. We're meeting at the border between New York and Pennsylvania at the exit. I'm really, really freaking nervous. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. I want a boyfriend who's gonna motivate me, and if you can't, then you have to go. It's harder than I thought. Oh my ankle. Pick me up. Come on. And I don't want to quit. I want to be made. Made. It's on. <laughs> Throughout my eight weeks of training for the 5K, I'd figured out that the scale wasn't the only measure of my success. We want to celebrate this body that you're already creating. I like it. You look beautiful. And I was excited for homecoming when I'd be able to debut a whole new me. But before this journey was over, I needed some closure on my relationship with Justin. We're meeting at the border between New York and Pennsylvania. He told me he wanted to come back to Pennsylvania. But I had made so many positive changes without him, I wasn't sure I wanted him to come back, unless he was willing to change as well. All right, I gotta lay down the law. If you wanna come back, like, we gotta do things, and we gotta get out of the house. I want a boyfriend who's gonna motivate me and, like, push me to go farther in life. I mean, if you can't, then you have to go home. I wanna help you reach your goal. I wanna be there for you. I just want to go to 
the movies and I want to go out to eat and get a salad and I want to just do things like normal couples do and we weren't a normal couple like we were fat and lazy. I've been a caterpillar and now I want to be a butterfly. Today is 5K day and I'm scared as shit. I've never really participated in any competition, let alone a running race, and I'm scared that I will fail. I got shirts, I got shirts. Medium. I'm really proud of her for doing the 5K thing because it takes a lot of courage. Does this mean I support you? Yeah. I can barely run up the block without like getting winded. I'm gonna be out there trying to support her. Are you ready to run it? Don't say run, that scares me. Before the race, Julie took me for my final weigh-in. 199. <laughs> Guess what it is? 260! Yes! 24 total pounds, yeah! <laughs> the start line is up at the top of the hill. We'll see everybody up there. We'll get going here in about seven minutes. I'm nervous because I know how hard it is for her. I just hope that she's able to complete it. I'm just really scared for her. I'm just extremely nervous. I've been training for two months. This is the big day. Today I die. It's not the day you die. And just remember, you got Justin there, you got me here. I want you to let the dogs out. I know you can do it. Okay. All right, ready to go. OK, she is really nervous. <laughs> good luck, Danielle. Yeah, good luck. I'm going to need it. Should be about five minutes, gang. I was freaking out, but at least Justin was going to be by my side. and that's faster than any sprint or jog we've ever done. It's over. Danielle, that's a one mile marker. We gotta pick it up. Woo! Hard as hell. You're doing good. Oh my god. Oh my ankle. And then it happened. A pain like never before. I thought my ankle was gonna fall off. <laughs> I need you not to focus on your ankle and block out all physical things, okay? You gotta get inside your head. This is it. We're gonna have to fight. You're gonna have to fight inside, inside yourself. yourself. Okay, you gotta get inside your head. And I want you to really think about that one thing in this whole world you can't live without, Danielle. Come on! I don't wanna quit. Before I knew it, there it was, the finish line. Never before have I felt so proud to be me. I'm proud of you. Wait, it hurt like a bitch. Seeing you cross the finish line, like, it just, it makes me feel like I could do it too. You can, it's hard, but it's so good when you finish it. I'm slow and I got a medal. <laughs> I just really want to thank you because you shaped me and molded me into a better and healthier person. You did all the work. You're an amazing person. You know what? I think you are too. <laughs> thank you. Danielle, you're the best. All right, hear me, Danielle. Very good. This journey has sort of like kickstarted my senior year. Yes. This is it. And it's homecoming. This is this is the day. I've gained a new self-image and confidence. I just feel better about myself. She just saw. She's come a really long way. And I've gained the ability to just do things I would have never done and, and step out of my box. Why aren't you homecoming queen? You should be. Gotta go to the dance. Gotta go to the dance. Basically, it's just about believing in yourself because if you don't believe in yourself, nothing's gonna happen. It was just an awesome experience. I'm so grateful. It went above and beyond anything I thought it could be. I've been made. And a whole new me. Now thanks to Made, my
my two amazing coaches, and most of all myself, I have the right tools to keep succeeding.